So welcome to Technodad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And today we're going to be talking about Raspberry Pi, specifically this Raspberry Pi. And so this is the Raspberry Pi 4, which runs really hot. Probably like a lot of you, the first I or pre-ordered this basically, and it just came with a normal uh, Raspberry Pi case, no fan, no nothing. Uh, the problem with the case that it came with, no fan, and so what tends to happen is it tends to overheat, so it runs very hot. And after the initial order of Raspberry Pis, what they started to do is send cases with fans. And that's what I always recommend. So, but I was thinking about it. And so for the 3B uh, and for the 3, there are metal cases. And this is an Argon 1. And I showed this in another video. It puts all the ports on the back. But it transfers passively a lot of the heat up to the top. Uh, so I was thinking, well, what if there was something similar for the ra Raspberry Pi 4? That would be really nice. And so I'm sure other of you found this. This is the Flerk case, and so it's completely passive. And so basically it looks like this case, but it's metal. So let's take a look inside. So here is the Flerk box. Flerk box? Flerk? Uh, so basically just a simple little box, most beautifully crafted Raspberry Pi case. Let's open it up, let's see what's inside. And so we just have a simple case, so this is this part is machined aluminum. It has a little plastic top on it. I don't know why. And it has the plastic bottom, uh, four screws, and then a pad to transfer heat for the heat sink here. And you can see mine here. Whoops. I have this uh, heat sink on there, uh, which originally came with the Raspberry Pi. And let's just say it doesn't work very well. So we're going to definitely take that off. We might have to remove some thermo paste from it also. So, and then we're going to stick this part right there where that is there. I think I can leave these other heat sinks it looks like. So we'll take a look. So let's take this apart. And I'm going to have to clean this, I'm pretty sure. Get all the paste off. Very good. So it actually looks pretty clean, but I'm going to just put a little rubbing alcohol on there and clean it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The, again, the case is very simple here. So let's just take out the screws and the heating pad, or the thermal pad. Okay, the case, I didn't say this before, but the case is actually really thick, this part is. So we're going to just press this in here. And then add in our screws, and then we'll fire it up and see how well it does. Oop, I have to take my card out here. And so actually, it seems like the bottom of the case presses 
the board harder against the heat sink there, so which is good. Okay, and so then when you do the final tightening, you do an X pattern, so we're going to do that now. Okay, so there it is all put together. Pretty simple. Let's put our SD card back in. We're going to fire it up and we're going to see what a difference this makes actually. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so we're back. We did about a 20 minute test on this and so the Raspberry Pi 4 in just the normal case would overheat within a five, maybe six or minutes uh, just with the plastic case. Uh, and what I found, so overheating is 80 degrees Celsius and or that's when it thermal throttles I should say. And with the new case, so basically we could go the 20 minutes without any thermal throttling and it was about 60 degrees centigrade. So if you want a silent fanless uh, Raspberry Pi case, the Flirk case is definitely the way to go. And uh, I'll probably get some more of these as I get more Raspberry Pi 4s. Okay, you take care and have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye bye.